Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Do you think you can handle that? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. I'm near my tower at the closed trail. Uh, where's that rope supposed to be? Down the trail that leads west of your tower, so just a teensy bit south and west of you. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns.
found the supply box. Great. Hey, there's a snack in here. You're probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. No, no, no! Oh. <sighs> hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little away from the shale slide. Well, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stopped coming out.
Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, <laughs> enjoy dealing with that. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler Buffet. <laughs> Chelsea? What? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's Brody. We hiked all the way out here to get away from guys like you. You don't know a damn thing about me. We know you're a peeping Tom. How long have you been standing over there? Oh my God, is that what you are? Bark me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Hey, that go okay? I hope they drown. I don't think anyone would warn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat? Thanks. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. Drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. 
Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <sighs> I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Ah! What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! This cave is gated off. It's to stop Spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun.
for you. Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just me. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Wake up! Hey, wake up! I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay. 